วัสดีครับยินดีต้อนรับเข้าสู่รายการฝรั่งที่นกสอนภาษาไทยตอนที่สามสิบละกันครับผมไม่แน่ใจไม่ได้ทํามานานมากแล้วนะครับคิดว่าน่าจะประมาณยี่สิบสี่ยี่สิบห้าแต่แต่เริ่มกับเลขสวยๆละกันวันนี้อ่าสามสิบนะครับอ่า so here we are at uh the so-called lesson thirty I don't think I've actually done, made it that far but yeah um I'm gonna talk today about power in in Thai uh and this is This is a video that I'm making, sort of for myself as well, because these are words. These four words that sort of give me a problem all the time in a lot of situations. And um, I think that from my explanation, it should be kind of clear what the difference between saying like mot gamlang, mot palang, mot rang, what the difference between these three things would be. Um, but I'm not going to actually dare to make to try and discern them because I think in some places they might actually be interchangeable, and I just don't have quite the Uh, the feel to really explain these these words well enough. What I'm going to do is sort of talk about each of them and their different uses in different scenarios and contexts. So um, we're going to start with gamlang, move on to rang. Actually, actually, let's, let's switch it up. Do gamlang and then palang and then rang and then uh, finally finish with amnat. Because all these words can be translated as power in Thai. Uh, so first, let's get let's get gamlang out of the way. I think it's probably the uh, The easiest one to get, maybe, but not always. Uh, only sometimes. Uh, but at least in terms of one of the meanings of power, it has one meaning of power in English that none of these other words can have, and that's the exponential power, right? So we know gamlang can mean like to be doing something, right? So gamlang tam yu, right? Or gamlang tam, or uh, that could actually mean something else. But uh, like if you spell tam differently, right? But gamlang tam, like the regular to do, doing, gamlang uh, aning su. กำลังกินข้าวกำลังออกไปข้างนอกกำลังขับรถ anything you want right so กำลัง is that ing the continuous marker um, then there's also the com a pretty common word กำลังใจ which is basically encouragement right literally it is power of the it's like power of the heart or power of the mind yeah power of the mind but like um, there's another word that's actually better for mental power in terms of being able to do things with your mind. This is like mental power, like you, you know, you have encouragement, you have self-confidence. People give you gamlang tai, they encourage you, and so you're 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 confident to do things, right? Or may, maybe not, but at least that's what their goal is in giving you gamlang tai, gan hai gamlang tai, right? So um, then there's also like gamlang gamlang ma. So here you have like horsepower, right? So this is. Um, Uh, also a different word that might that might come up that means power, uh, but the most important one, or the most definite one I'd say defined one here is like using gamlang for the exponential powers like I mentioned a second ago. So you might say uh, right squared would be like five squared would be ha gamlang song, four cubed, si gamlang sam right or uh, here's where the word The, the definition of power comes out clear when you use higher exponents, right? So like six to the seventh power. So h o k a m l a n g d e t right? So you just say that g a m l a n g and it means to the blah 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 power, right? To the x power, right? So um, one other meaning of g a m l a n g just so we so we try and be all inclusive here, uh, you can say something is g a m l a n g d e And that that means it's sort of pretty similar to padi, like it, but it means gamlang di is used when something is is getting the way it is now is just right. It doesn't need to get more or less. It, right now is good, right? So if something's like the temperature is just right, you don't want to warm it up too much, you don't want to get it too, you know, you don't want to let it get cold, then it's gamlang di. Uh, or same thing with spiciness level and things like this. Okay, so I said we we're g o i n g to do palang next, so let's do palang. Uh, I don't have so many examples for palang, that's why I want to just sort of go through go. Go quickly through it, but palang um, is more like energy than it is power. It can be power, absolutely, because like you know we use the words interchangeably, power and energy, a lot of times. But it's the energy kind of power, like you know palangan is usually translated just as energy, but uh, you know palangan l o m could be could, could be translated either wind energy or wind power, like power that wind energy that is generated by wind. Meals or wind complexes. Wind, wind, what are those called? I can't remember those big wind meals that aren't wind meals. I don't remember uh, wind something complexes or something like this. Uh, but yeah, palangan, right? So that's that's energy here. Uh, you could have like palang fai fa, um, palang jit, 
Palang Tit. So this is better here in terms of like controlling things with your mind, right? So what's his name? Uh, Magneto had Palang Tit. Oh, my hair's not doing anything right here right now. Uh, sorry. And uh, yeah, so then you could also have. Uh, and I, I wanted to bring up the the Palang Lom one because or Palang Nan Lom one because. There's also the word rang lom, and palang palang nan lom is basically the energy that is harnessed from wind, whereas rang lom is actually the thing that, that the the power of the wind blowing itself. So like you wouldn't say palang lom uh, 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 closes the window or something, right? It would be the the rang lom that it blows the window shut. Uh, but the palang palang nan lom is what is taken from the wind. Okay, I think that should be pretty clear. So moving on to the next word, then obviously rang, rang, um, middle tone, right? Sorry, rang is the um, basically the word that is most generally used for like strong or um, you know as an adjective, right? You can say glin rang, uh, or you can say kang rang, right? Which is literally hard and strong together to mean like physically strong uh, and th then there's a lot of rang meanings that are more scientific actually and here rang has the meaning of like power or force uh, so for example um, or also strength well so rang guy right physical strength or body strength right um, we had rang lum already there's rang banan tai and I couldn't find bandan in English but uh, bandan in Thai is basically the high high good couldn't and like yeah and I'm not Kong sing dai sing nin so uh it's funny because they use the word rang I'm not uh so this is we'll come back to this this word rang I'm not and see if we can't maybe explain it a little bit but for now let's stick to rang so rang banan tai banan basically to make something happen rang banan tai is a motivation or a um a an inspiration. Most Thais will say inspiration, uh, but I think that there isn't really an exact word for motivation in Thai either. So it just sort of depends on the circumstance whether you say motivation or inspiration in English. So I, like motivation is actually I've tried explaining this word several times and it's difficult for me to figure out what the difference is between motivation and inspiration. Uh, it feels like inspiration is more like artistic and more abstract, whereas motivation is more goal oriented. Like someone tries to motivate you. Whereas you're inspired by someone else's good work, and that makes you want to do it too. I think that's the difference. But both of those in Thai, I, I think, would be called Rang Uh There's also then Rang Gatun. So Rang Gatun is like an impulse, right? It's something that makes something else happen, but in a more direct way than maybe Rang Banansai, right? Uh, rang Ding Du. So suction power, uh, or just suction in general, right? Ding Du. Or it could also be, it could also be attractiveness. Right, so like uh, uh, we could be the force of attract forces of attraction, um, depending on the context. Um, rang, let's see, we have rang chue, right? So rang chue is the law of inertia that things will move until you know all objects in motion will remain in motion until uh, what is it? What is it? Some some kind of force comes against them, right? So. Uh, maybe it's a barrier, or maybe it's because of friction, right? Rang siet tan might be the reason that uh, something stops, why something's rang tue is gone, right? Uh, but if you, you know, maybe you have tires that are that have really good uh, traction, or rang tut, right? Rang tut sum, then you would be able to uh, stay on a road because you wouldn't have, and you wouldn't have to worry about. Uh, a slippery surface or something. So sometimes you want, right? You want things to be able to stop your rang to it. Um, so um, let's see. One other word then, or two more words. Sorry. Um, turning back to gamlang real quick. Uh, I found the words gamlang cup and rang cup, and I think maybe the reason that both of them exist is because they seem to often be translations of sort of concepts or terms that come out of psychology and philosophy and things like this, like the drive for something, right? Like uh, like like Freud talked about sexual drive, so like rang kap tang pe, um, and you'd have like gamlang kap as well for for like, you can talk about ting nga ni, whatever the ni gamlang kap sung or something like this, like, you know, uh, the team is highly motivated, they have a high, high work drive, work ethic, right? Something like this. So 
you can see that these words can be used in a lot of ways. Um, and sometimes they overlap, but, but usually there's still a slight difference between them. Uh, one more word that's been, of course, very important is rangan. Uh, so we talked about palangan a second ago, which is energy. Rangan is labor, right? Uh, so it's a bit different. Right? You can see labor is the actual, that, you know, it's going on, right? There were palangan is that which is sort of extracted, right? Um, so it's uh, a, a bit different in this way. Rangan, uh, like you have the kasuang, kasuang rangan, the sawat ikan sangkong. Uh, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, uh, yeah. So the labor, the Ministry for Labor and Social Welfare, right, in Thailand. Um, so that's um, you know, there's good my rangan. So labor laws, and things like this. You will hear the word rangan quite a lot. Um, and then of course, just to sort of round off the discussion of rang, uh, there is the there's the slang term, and you're going to be like, oh, that one hurt, or that stung when somebody says something that was maybe either insulting or sort of shocking or something, or like just kind of extreme, kind of hard, you know, I don't know, hurt somebody's skin, somebody else might say, oh, rang, renga, renga, right? You may hear all these things. Uh, uh, or rang, ma, right? That could be the same meaning, but uh, rang, rang, with a little, uh, and notice it's short. You can't say rang. Rang is a vulture. It's a bird, right? The, the, the scavenger bird that flies around and stuff's dead. That's a rang, i rang. But rang, rang is like, oh, oh, he got you good, right? Man, not quite he got you good, but more like, uh, I don't know. I mean, we don't have quite a word for it in English, I don't think, but it's, it's like, depends on, like, it, little kids in school go, ooh, right? Or, or older people might, like, all just sort of be silent and look around, which I think is what happens in Thailand, too. But, but a lot of kids will sort of just rang, right? And it's, uh, yeah, that's, that's some slang for you as well. All right, the final word, then. I'm not, or the final set of words, I guess, but I'm not, um, which we also had rang, I'm not. So something that happens, dui rang, I'm not, kong sing dai sing ning, was what the word definition for bandan was, right? So um, I'm not, it's kind of like the hand that controls things, is the way it's been explained to me and the way I've sort of come to understand it as well. It's the hand that controls things, right? So like, it could mean authority, the people that are responsible for, for overseeing something, um, it could also mean, like, for example, mop I'm not, um, is to, it could mean to give legal power to, like, it could mean to, uh, like, to, to give somebody legal power to act on your, um, on your behalf, or it could mean uh, to give, well, it, basically that's what a power of attorney is, right, but if you, like, by mop I'm not, is, by mop I'm not, is a power of attorney, right, so uh, there you see clearly what kind of power this is, right, it's, it's power to act, power to make stuff happen. Um, so, like, you have, for example, I'm not san, which is uh, literally court power, right, but it means jurisdiction, like, which, which court can or cannot act in a certain issue. Um, you also have I'm not thought wrong, which is, like, uh, bargaining power, right, your, your ability to be able to, bar to, to barter or bargain uh, based on, you know, certain circumstances. You also have then... Uh, I'm not alone. <laughs> that's a that's a, a province in Thailand. Um, but yeah, so you have. Let's see. What else would we do with I'm not? Uh, I mean, you might. A lot of times you'll hear like under, with like you thai I'm not to be under the power or under the control of something, right? So once again, sort of the person, the person, thing, or entity that controls something that has some kind of control. Um, and you also have words like I'm not mood, which is similar to the word itipon mood, itipon mood, right? Which is uh, dark influence or like you know basically uh, the hand behind the curtain or something like this, right? Like Wizard of Oz type stuff, but not not really, right? It, it has to do with basically somebody pulling the strings behind the scenes. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's 14 minutes, uh, four words, but hopefully you got a lot of words here out of this. Um, I'll write all of them down at the bottom in Thai and then transliterated and all that stuff. I found out how to do the little tone marker transliterations too. So this is my first time using those. All right. So um, for anybody who's having a hard time because I talk too fast and you're trying to learn English with this, just keep listening. Eventually you'll get used to my voice. Um, and hopefully you at least were able to get the translations even if the, the sentences that I discuss things at length, like the longer sentences were harder to understand. Okay, so uh, thanks to everybody for watching. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time.
สวัสดีครับ